There are several applications of union find operation in algorithms. In this video, we will look at how union find operation can be used to determine whether adding an edge will lead to a cycle in a graph. Let us consider a graph G. This graph has six vertices and respective edges. Initially, we have an empty set. Now, since we have six vertices, so we will create six disjoint sets each containing one vertex. Then we will perform union operation on sets if there is an edge between the vertices and the vertices are not in the same set. So we have an edge between vertex 1 and vertex 2. Now we need to find whether vertex 1 and vertex 2 are in different sets. Vertex 1 belongs to set 1 and vertex 2 belongs to set 2. So they are in different sets. Therefore, we will perform union of set 1 and set 2. So now, after the union operation, both the vertices 1 and 2 will be in the same set. Then we have an edge between vertex 1 and vertex 4. Vertex 1 belongs to set which contains 1 and 2. And vertex 4 belongs to set 4. So they are in different sets. Therefore, we will perform union of set which contains 1, 2 and set 4. So now after the union operation, vertices 1, 2 and 4 will be in the same set. Then we have an edge between vertex 2 and vertex 3. Vertex 2 belongs to set which contains 1, 2 and 4 and vertex 3 belongs to set 3. So they are in different sets. Therefore, we will perform union of set which contains 1, 2 and 4 and set 3. So now, after the union operation, vertices 1, 2, 4 and 3 will be in the same set. Then, we have an edge between vertex 4 and vertex 5. Vertex 4 belongs to set which contains 1, 2, 4 and 3 and vertex 5 belongs to set 5. So, they are in different sets. Therefore, we will perform union of set which contains 1, 2, 4 and 3 and set 5. So now after the union operation, vertices 1, 2, 4, 3 and 5 will be in the same set. Then we have an edge between vertex 5 and vertex 6. Now we need to find whether vertex 5 and vertex 6 are in different sets. Vertex 5 belongs to set which contains 1, 2, 4, 3 and 5 and vertex 6 belongs to set 6. So they are in different sets. Therefore, we will perform union of set which contains 1, 2, 4, 3 and 5 and set 6. So now after the union operation, vertices 1, 2, 4, 3, 5 and 6 will be in the same set. So we have examined all the vertices of the graph and created the disjoint set performing the union operation if there is an edge between the vertices and if the vertices are not in the same set. Now let us determine whether adding an edge between vertex 3 and vertex 5 will lead to a cycle. So we will find whether vertex 3 and vertex 5 are in different sets. To do this, we will perform find operation on vertex 3. The parent of vertex 3 is 2, which is the root. So find operation returns 2. Then we will perform find operation on vertex 5. The parent of vertex 5 is 2, which is the root. So find operation returns 2. So since both the vertices have the same parent, therefore they belong to the same set. If there is an edge between the vertices and if they belong to the same set, that means there is a cycle in the graph. So we can say that adding an edge between vertex 3 and 5 will lead to a cycle in the graph. So this is how we can use union find operation to determine whether adding an edge will lead to a cycle in a graph.